Cheers to you for the wolves for that. 14 months up! Welcome to the Gnome Tavern. Huge shout out to Dr. Villain for the follow. Cheers. Everyone should be turned up. Can y'all hear them? Hello, guys? Okay, right, let me fix it. And Dr. Villain, this is a uh, this is a tradition of why does it still have y'all muted? Okay, that's why. Because you have technical difficulties every time you I liked you better that's muted. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, thank you, Dr. Villain, for the follow and thanks to For the Wolves for the 14 month subscription. That is over a year. I know. 14 months. Let me grab my Really strange, what do you mean you're really strange? It's like spooky. It is pretty spooky. What about now? Okay, now my. Hold on. Hello. Is that better? Yep. Should be perfect. Can everybody hear them in chat? Cool. Alright, I hear Will's very strangely. Okay, one, perfect. Two. I just fixed it. One, two. 
All right, perfect. Everybody, welcome to Teens in Space. Now, we're a little short staffed today. Um, Nye is not feeling well, and our guest has Father's Day duties to deal with. Um, but that won't stop our teens. My man, Rusty. Ah, right. There we go. Oh, I feel so. I need to go get a beer now. I feel like the worst. Unless it's, unless it's a PBR. You, you know, the funny part is, is PBR has such a special place in my heart. Because I, when I was 18 doing stand-up comedy, I'd get paid in PBR. <laughs> oh, right. And so I was day. like, I am the top of the comic world. Because <laughs> I got paid to tell jokes. <laughs> That's awesome. Yeah, so happy Father's Day to our father and the father of mischief. Give it up for For the Wolves. How are you doing today? What's up? What's up? You already know. How we doing? How we now, uh, doing? For the here. Wolves, you had kind of an interesting... Your character was very diseased as last session with Dr. Doofenberger <laughs> and dealing with the diseases. And having a little yeah. trouble tele um, morphing. Transforming, yes. I uh, currently am Dr. Doof by the looks of it. That's what my description says. So I always <laughs> kept that on. So apparently I look like Dr. Doof right now. Perfect, perfect. Uh, how are your character feeling? Are they excited? Are they nervous? For uh, a little quick recap. I forgot I didn't give you a recap. Last session, Dr. Doofenberger, they finally got in contact with him and he was doing research on a disease that was caused by some of the experimentals that they did on 272, which was a very violent experiment. Uh, two of our two of our people were were dastardly sick, and they were able to capture 272 in a field that looks like it either has killed it or at least paralyzed it. I'm not gonna lie. It's been a couple of weeks because I remember we did mercenaries as for teens in space, so <laughs> I may have two of them mixed together. At one I point, know, I, was like, my notes, like, I was expecting so Nimes to be like, I remember I shot you in the face last week. Oh, no, that was Mercs. <laughs> <laughs> that was definitely Mercs. <laughs> so last I remember, well, we was, we're good, we're back on our ship. 272 is in space. Well, if, oh, I forgot to mention the most important part. Lucifer took over that the city right. that your ship is at and That's says, right, I did. want my fucking goo. He did, and then we ended on the cliffhanger. I forgot about that. Yes, so I just, I'm going to turn them up here. I'm going to turn the music down. Uh, so, yes. That's right. Yes, that is where we left off, where Lucifer, the guy who... Uh, sold them the goo, I guess asked them to transport the goo, has now the city that their ship is in. Yes. Oh, we're there now. Well, you're still oh, in this, you're there, still yeah. in a little town. Yeah. Uh, so, our next so guest, what do we, not to, uh, we... not to ruin the introductions, let's give it up for can Rusty. You, okay. Yeah. <laughs> Let's give it up for Rusty. Now, Rusty, how is your character feeling? It got a little sick. Um, a little science happened. Oh, he, yeah, I, I think he had... Let's see. I'm trying to look back through. Like, I thought he did get hurt. Like, I think we had a... I thought we had a tussle of sorts. Um, <laughs> I think you did, but it was only a brief interaction. Yeah, I think you're right. I think it was more brief. Um, I had a leg that was like ruined and it had like yep, it was yep. sparking and it was opened up and so I think I need to repair oh, that. Oh yes, because one of um, the people attacked you and bit into your leg. That's one of the right. crazy people. I, had, I did have of, some of the, yeah. the the plague was growing on my arm, but I think you said that has dissipated, right? Since yes, when two seven two all the plague sort of went away. Okay. Um, but your robotic leg is kind of fucked up. My leg is still, yeah, and it's it's got like a rag like in there holding it together. And um, I've put some, uh, what are those, um, those like ratchet straps, uh -huh. some of those around it to keep all the pieces from clinging around. That was um, yeah, so I'm going to have to... I'm going to have to repair it for sure, yeah. <laughs> I like how you try to make that so subtle and you're like... <laughs> I know, I got off work super late today. <laughs> so I did ice, surprisingly. 
Which is fine, because I get paid hourly, so. <laughs> I do not. Yeah, fuck it. When you stay late, it sucks. When <laughs> I stay late, it means I can buy another bottle. <laughs> so, yeah, so that is where we are. Lucifer has told them that they have control of the city where their ship is located and that he wants his fucking goo. But remember, Space Adventures, they don't have the goo. <laughs> yeah, we do. <clears throat> No, we definitely don't. We are fucked. <laughs> we are fucked. <laughs> well, who knows what will happen on this episode of Teens in Space. And we'll skip the <laughs> intro part because uh, there's only three of us today. Um, but we <laughs> will. Cloud well, knows what's up. Yep. Cloud's here. He knows what's up. I've Ivanius is here. I think. Uh, it's because my users are chat. All right, so let us begin. So you guys are in the office okay. of Doctor Doofenberg, and you hear this calm. Uh, you hear the calm go, where the officer that you were talking to uh, was basically interrupted by Lucifer, the Chicken Man, who is burnt up. And he is, uh, and he says, I want my fucking goo as he takes over the city that your ship is located at. Um, oh, shit. Yeah, is he on the comm? We're still on comms with him. Uh, yeah, give us the meeting place and uh, we'll see if we can meet you within the, the two hour time slot. The two hour <laughs> time slot? This ain't no fucking doctor appointment. You bring my goo right now, or I'm going to A, shoot all these people, then B, shoot all the people that you're around right now, and then C, shoot all of you people. Well, at least we have A and B to get out the way first. It gives us some time. That's a couple hours. <laughs> yeah, I'll switch the comms off and be like, yeah, we got at least two, you know, we got at least two hours, right? We got two rounds. <laughs> <laughs> um, we may have to either go meet him and then come clean to him, to him and we don't have the goo or come clean now. And I mean, we don't even know. I think we say now. The goo. I say, fuck it. We go now and we just see what happens. All right. Yeah. Let's get a meeting place and, uh, we'll tell him we're on our way and then we can talk then just to keep him at ease. Um, okay, see, so I'll flip, the, back, com back I'll flip the comms back. Yeah. And I'll, I'll, uh. I'll say, all right, you're the boss, Lucifer. Uh, give us the coordinates, and uh, we'll be on our way um, immediately. The coordinates? Well, the coordinates were on fucking Mercury, but I guess you can come meet me here in the main citadel. And then a vicious tiger attacks from behind. I know, look at that fat ass. You saw there was tacos, so you wanted it. Look at that. Hey, stop fucking <laughs> on my chair. Fat ass. He's like 25 pounds. He's a big ass oh cat. Um, so, uh, so you see him basically lift up uh, the commander that you are talking to earlier, mm -hmm. and he shoots him, and he tosses him behind him, and he goes, uh, he goes, that's what happens if you don't provide me my goo. I was, I was like, gonna... did you know that man? I was just gonna kind of smirk and be like. My man. <laughs> Did I know that guy? I don't fucking know everyone in the galaxy. I know I know the guy who was supposed to have my goo doesn't have my goo, so that means you have my goo. Goo who? Oh, I cannot wait to fucking shoot you, you pug marine. <laughs> A pug a huh? <laughs> pug a goo? Uh, pug we'll, a what? We'll, we'll be right there. Then so we'll, go, we'll meet you at Mercury. No, you're going to meet me here at the Citadel where your damn ship is. Well, then send us the coordinates. You said it was in Mercury. And you can see him getting visibly angry, and he, like, grabs yeah. another guy in the uniform, and he, like, puts the gun to his head and shoots it, and then, like, tosses oh that guy over his shoulder, and he's just like, don't piss me off, son. The coordinates whoa, 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 are whoa, 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 whoa. That other guy, grab grab another guy real quick. I want to see him. How many guys do you have? Oh, I'm gonna fucking shoot you. 
And he's gonna click. <laughs> yeah, shoot I know you first. are. One mine. <laughs> <laughs> well, that uh, guy yeah, seems. Like Dorothy goes. Well, that guy seems very angry. But damn it, Dorothy. <laughs> yeah, no kidding. What's going on with that guy? Like, what do we know about Lucifer? Like, does anybody here know anything? Like. Can I look up anything on this guy? I like, mean, apparently guy's you guys kind of... owe him some goo. I, I don't know what the hell he is. He's very angry Dorothy, about it. <laughs> Dorothy, I'm going to need you to look through our archives and find the clip where... Uh, oh, what was his name? What was Link's... Jingles? Bojangles? Jingles. Jingles, yeah. <laughs> Jingles, we need to find the video evidence of Jingles shooting Rose and escaping with the goo. Find uh, it, Dorothy. I, I mean, I, I don't know how I'd have those videos. I guess, I guess that happened somewhere else on the sh on your ship. Where are we? You're still in the town with Doctor Doofenberg. <laughs> Son of a bitch. <laughs> hmm. Hmm. I know, Eva would be Let's perfect see. here. <laughs> so, the last thing we knew about Jingles was that he crashed. It was like some other planet, right? Was it Mars? It was some other planet. Uh, or was it the Mars. planet Jufenberg we're on now? kind of sits up and he's just like, Well, uh, you know, I did help Mr. Jingles and he went on his way. Um, I, couldn't help him much, I couldn't help him much more than I tried to. Where did he go? Uh, he went all... He's going to... Uh, Oh, man. Dorothy, where the hell is Mr. Jingles going? Doctor, you can't remember nothing. Let me go find it in a notebook. And she, like, kind of, like, click on her heels. And she, like, digs through it. And she goes, yeah, he's heading to, uh, he's heading to Mercury. Then so are we. Lucifer said Mercury. We well, need to say, hey, Jingles is over there in Mercury. Maybe we need to get Lucifer back on the horn. And um, tell him, be like, "Hey, here's the situation." Well, right now, like, I wanna, I wanna talk to the doctor some more and ask him about the goo situation. Like, is there any other goo here? Like, how how is goo contained? Like, how do you just keep it around and safely? Is it volatile? Like, it's pretty uh, volatile to touch. Um, and well, this is what okay. Hams goes. He's gonna go. Yeah, it's pretty volatile to touch. We have to keep it in these little capsules. Uh, if not, it will uh, it will essentially enhance you, but it will also kill Find you. Find someone, yeah. Um, um, it's super illegal, though. Uh, they uh, the United Planetary Sanctuary does not even if they see it on your ship, they will shoot you and burn your ship. That's a right, shipping um, situation. Oh. <laughs> the, yeah, now the Bezos, the they they will shoot you. And then steal your shit. <laughs> Makes sense. Um, it's not... I mean, the doctor heard the conversation with that we just had at Lucifer. Uh, so I'm like, you know, we're kind of in a in a situation here. Like, we either need to get this goo or we need to get out and get away from this guy. But I mean, it looks like he's super just okay with like offing people until we show up with this goo yeah, that we don't even have anymore. I remember Lucifer was a commander on the war and he was uh, discharged because of his very violent tactics for the empire of Bezos. Uh, yeah, that dude's, a, that dude's a son of a bitch, if you don't mind me saying. Oh, doctor, you're cursing too much. You told me to told you to watch that. Oh, I'm sorry, Dorothy. <laughs> Well, fuck it. Let's go see Lucifer. Hmm. My trigger finger's itchy. I feel like we're in, we have nothing to... Uh... We have two options. One, we go to see Lucifer. Two, we go to Mercury and try and find Jingles. Right. That's basically our but two in the options mean, right now. In the meantime, he's going to be just shooting at people, <laughs> I guess. I mean, um, it's not us he's shooting at. Yeah, I feel yet. like we should go towards Lucifer. Is that where the story was trying to be steered? I mean, I, I'm super improv -y today. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna go to the space aquarium and find some hippopotamus. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you're just gonna get a lot of angry phone calls, but yeah. Um, <laughs> do, you, do you say that to Doctor Doofenberg? I think I'll say that. 
I'll say that to Doctor uh, too. Be like, we should go see some hippopotamus. What do you think? Uh, I mean, hippos are pretty fucking rad. I'm not Doctor. Stop cursing. <laughs> I'm sorry, Dorothy. I mean, hippos are pretty freaking right. Doctor, a freaking not a curse word, Dorothy. Anyway, uh, I don't know where the nearest hippo is. Uh, I am not. I don't study hippos. Uh, but hippos are pretty cool. I mean, I don't know what else you want me to tell you. There's probably a hippo on bigger cities mm. on Mars, but interesting. <laughs> I, I feel like hippos is uh, very out of the way for us uh, at the moment. Uh, hippos although it is very interesting. <laughs> it's, um, all, it's all session we just go to the fucking zoo. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it will be a good filler. <laughs> so everyone can come back. We're like, so we're at the zoo. <laughs> it was a it's lovely like a, day. Uh, yeah, it's like a fucking... Um, uh, like one of the comedy shows where like they bring the parents along with them to the zoo or some shit and we're just bringing Dr. Doof and Dorothy with <laughs> and us. Dorothy. <laughs> I don't know, I love yeah, Dorothy. So I, I guess... developed her character. I flushed it out. <laughs> I just yeah, wanna... so I guess those are the options. <laughs> go ahead. What is your options? No, I mean, we can, yeah, go and see Lucifer and say, look, here's the deal. Like, we need support to go get the goo. Somebody stole it from us, like, you know, and then go from there. Or, like you said, put them off and then just go to Mercury and check on the uh, goo and the hippos there. The space hippos. <laughs> space hippos seem to be a good i tell you what, I think we go to Lucifer and then we bribe him with space hippos. <laughs> I have pictures. Dingles ran off. He has your goo. However, we can track him down. But yeah, we have, we, tra to... we have tracking. Um... But first, we need to find the space hippos. And then see what <laughs> he says. I feel like Lucifer would be a man who would like space hippos. Mm. What do you think about that? But I don't know. Lucifer is pretty crazy. Uh, they used to They kind of say his emotions went with the wind. Uh, so yeah. there's a hippos. Two feeds in the box? Yeah, I'm just worried about getting there. Like, we have, uh, you know, a busted uh, ship. He was a giant have... chicken, man. He was burnt <laughs> oh, yeah. all over. I'll Looks let like you have... know. I'm sure the United us. Planet Sanctuary... This is Dr. Doom talking. Uh, I, I know the United Planet Sanctuary is probably a tad annoyed that their city got taken over. If they can file the right paperwork to do something about it. <laughs> hmm. Let's go see Lucy. <laughs> I want That's some my safe chicken. Paperwork. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing de-escalates anything but paperwork. This is what we're gonna do. Doctor Doof and Dorothy, you'll come in with us on our ship. We're gonna go find Lucifer and Nimble just get the paperwork out so we can land. We're yeah, I'll start on. getting the stamps I'm not ready. I'm in any shape to come on. I just had like a ten mental breakdowns trying to fight two seven two <laughs> in four different timelines. <laughs> Al, Al pulls out his gun and points at Doctor Doof. You're about <laughs> to have a fight with my pistol and your brain in seventeen different timelines, Dorothy. Uh, I was gonna be Avery. So oh, you, yeah, uh, yeah, one you already met. Um. <laughs> Hey, look, look, man, I, I, I literally cannot stand up. I am fucking like almost glued <laughs> to this cage. Uh, shooting me is not the best option because of those. Do you want to see the space hippos or not, Dr. Uh, Doof? I do not want to see space hippos. I, I just want to sleep. Shoot Dr. Doof. <laughs> All right, well, yeah, can if I you let him finish. Uh, <laughs> You would see that two turrets are staring at you that come from the roof. <laughs> two what? Little turrets come down and are pointing at you. Oh, okay. But I'm currently yeah, as I'll... Dr. Doof as well. Turrets will get confused. They won't be able to tell which Dr. Doof is real. I mean... Are you, telling, are you saying that to Dr. Doof? Yes. <laughs> Look, man. <laughs> don't shoot me. I'm just letting you know that you do need me, but I need a little bit of time rest. Right, we're taking Dorothy. 
I mean, you don't need Dorothy. So you would, you need the doctor. Oh. Dorothy's her own woman. Woman. If she wants to leave with you, Dorothy, we have cake. Get on the ship. Uh, <laughs> I hate to tell you, Mister Al, you ain't got a ship. It's by Mister Luc Lucifer. But that's where we're going. We still have cake there. Let's go. Eva goes. Yeah, we, we gotta cake? get our ship. We don't have cake. That's what we've been looking for this whole time. Fuck up, Eva. God damn it. <laughs> I mean, I, I I don't know how y'all are going to need an assistant when you talk to Mr. Lucifer. We need some of that southern charm. I guess I'll go, Doctor, if that's okay. And Doctor Doof is like, yep, yeah, sure, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> Bring in Dorothy. <laughs> <laughs> we just... Finally got our way. All right, so she, she, grabs, her, her, she grabs her little purse, and then she, like, she, like, kind of, like, walks over in her little high heels, and she's like, uh, how do you expect to go into Mr. Lucifer? New team member acquired. <laughs> do we have those platforms? Yeah, things? so, yeah. The, uh... And does Dorothy well, have stats? Give me, like, two seconds. I Just have to now make Dorothy die. a fucking sheet. <laughs> don't let her listen, die. Listen, we told you that Dorothy was going to be a part of this team two weeks ago. Oh, my God. All right, let's make Dorothy stats. <laughs> um, fucking. I don't even know how to spell Dorothy. <laughs> D-O-R-O-T-H-Y. Oh, my camera. Oh, shit. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, my camera is... spans it out. Oh, no, that was like Lucifer's interrupting. Okay, there we go. Perfect. Yeah, it was like an EMP went off. Um, <laughs> right, this is just a really rough spelling. I'm going to put our as D-O-R-O-T-H-Y. <laughs> uh, that's true. The O, the R, and the O with confusion. I'm just used to sleep. Okay. So, she is... So she has grabbed her purse and she is walking towards the door. She's a barbarian with 50 hit points. Yeah, she has 20 in all <laughs> D20s and all stats. Oh, yeah. Cause did, you, uh, my, did your microphone change by chance? It sounds like it did. Uh, probably because fucking Discord sucks. All right, so we're off to see uh, Lucifer, right? Yeah, but I mean, we need to get some supplies. I mean, I know you've got weaponry. Uh, I guess Eva does too. Dorothy could probably handle herself. Um, yeah, I'm just gonna tighten down these ratchet straps on my leg and. You know, I'm thinking sort of very highly of Dorothy, the receptionist. <laughs> do, do I need to say? Do we need to take a brief break here? Oh, uh, why my camera's freaking out? Uh, yeah, freaking out is an uh, understatement. Why is it doing that? Uh, because it's a UPS cam. Uh, it's a. Okay, let me see. All right, so. Uh, we'll be returned to our schedule. Maybe cats chewing on the wire. Uh, no, they haven't chewed on the wire yet. Okay, cool. <laughs> yet. Um. Ours so maybe we can take some of uh, the Maybe Doctor Doof, since he's really immobilized, we can gather some supplies from his uh. Laboratory. Uh, sure. So, what are you looking one. for? Yeah, for real. <laughs> um, so we're at the laboratory. So, um, Nimble Jits would be best at the la um, laboratory, right? He would know what he's looking for, like to fix his legs and shit like that. Yeah, like if um, if he has any sort of like tools and you know. No, I'm, I'm assuming like he has the stuff for uh, Nimble to be able to fix all of his shit up before we leave, you know what I mean? Yeah. Um, yeah. yeah. So we'll, we'll take a few minutes to get things in order. Uh, I'll get my leg back in work in order, see if anything else there needs to be fixed. If we, we'll bring some food and if we can get any more supplies with us, uh, stock up to greenhouse. Um, Yeah, I don't know. I think uh, Nimble Jits is probably just gonna be like researching Lucifer and like what to expect with the Citadel and yeah. Um, yeah. So while you guys are doing this, 
Uh, you hear, um, you hear a crack coming in. You hear like a, uh, you hear like a, you hear a, basically one of those little hover things come in and it crashes into mm -hmm. a building and you hear. Okay. Oh, man. Uh, I'll look at, to the doctor, does that happen often? <laughs> what's, uh, what's going not on norm normally people don't come into a uh, quarantine zone. Can we look at the um, CCTV cameras? Because I know he has cameras there. <clears throat> see what it is. Yeah, I kind of want to check this out. What's going on? Um, you see that there is a hovercraft that has crashed into the side of the building, and there's a bunch of UPS guys, uh, United Planetary Sanctuaries, popping out of it. I was like, oh shit, we missed our next day delivery. <laughs> I was y'all didn't catch on to my acronym. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's good. <laughs> um, yeah, and they're like popping out and they're like scrambling like around, like, oh my god, what's going on? Um, I mean, I guess let's go help. I feel like that's Nimblejit's sort of first thing to, he wants to go help if he can, so. I was following Dorothy. Yeah, I'll approach and uh, we'll see if we can find out what's going on, assess the damage, make sure nobody's injured. Uh, yeah, you see a bunch of guys running around, and they're in United Planetary Sanctuary clothing, and they're like, Help us, man! Help us! Yeah, what do you need? Is anybody hurt? Uh, yeah, I mean, from the crash? Yeah, we got one person hurt, but... Uh, I'll go. We just, where are they at? Show me where they're at. Uh, he's he's right there. There's a guy that's like, My leg! <laughs> and it's got, like, oh, no. <laughs> and this guy's like, Yeah, but we didn't help, man! Uh, a bunch of, like... I guess Bezos Empire guys attacked us, or pirates attacked I don't what? know. Somebody just came in and started shooting us, asking where the goo people are. Goo people? That's interesting. <laughs> goo. Um, well, yeah, he kept screaming, that? where's my goo? And we're like, we don't know what the fuck you're talking about, man. And he kept shooting us. Are you sure he wasn't oh, saying, where's my shoe? And like lost a, train a shoe or something. Well, I mean, goo or shoe. I mean, he's shooting people, so it's very important to him, either or. It might be those new pair of Jordans, Nimble just be careful. Mm. <laughs> then fuck it. I was going to pull out Buster Rifle. Let's go. Show me the way, baby. Yeah. And as we're walking past, I was going to shoot the guy who has his bad leg on the other leg and just be like, I need to even him out. <laughs> Take the shot. Dude, what the fuck are you doing? He needs to be even. Show me where they are. And like, two of them pull out a pistol at you and are like, Fucking put down the gun! You really no, no, don't. we're just here to help. <laughs> you really don't want to do that. You should put down your guns first. Put down the gun, man! You're just shooting our people! I will give I you both to help. one more chance to put your weapons down. Not until you, you put down your weapon. From. So I was going to put his gun into his pocket. And then <clears throat> transform. You know where this is going. Cloud, do the honors. Tell, tell, tell everyone where this is going. You already know what's <laughs> about to happen. Are you sure you want to do that? <laughs> like, I feel like you need to be using this for uh, what's coming after uh, them and us. <laughs> it's Batman time. <laughs> I mean, do you want to start a fight with these guys? Because they're freaked out, and you shot one of their buddies, and now you're about to turn to a bat, and they're already freaked out and ready to shoot. I would jump in, but you shot the other guy in the leg. I don't know what to do. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to help him. <laughs> hmm. Do I want to start a war? <laughs> huh. How many of them is there? Well, there's two pointing guns at you, and there's two, two more uh, that are like... Down. Are very oh, stressed guys. out by the fact that you shot yeah. someone in the leg, and they've been getting shot at all day. <laughs> it's fine. I'll put my gun. In, I'll put my gun in my holster and be like, "Fine, you want the gun away? Then good luck trying to fight those guys off without a weapon." 
Look, we just need you to stop shooting us and shoot whatever the frick attack does. Are you the goo I people? I shot one attack I shot one person. Even his leg out, Nimble Jits will fix it. Now show me where these motherfuckers are. Are you the goo people? The goo who? No. Good or goo? Good, these yes. guys what are asking you? about goo. I, we don't know who the goo people are. We don't know what goo is. What the fuck are you talking about? I want to shoot somebody. Show me where they are. <laughs> I don't yeah, know what to right do, direction. man. And like the guy who first talked to you is like, I mean, we came here to help, and now you're shooting people. I, 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 I just want you to shoot the other guys, not us. I want to look at that guy and be like, motherfucker, is your name Chad? Because I swear to God. No, uh, my name is Private Zephyros. And then yeah. Private, shut the fuck up. <laughs> and, and he kind of looks like he wants to talk, but he keeps like stopping himself as he's like heavy breathing. And the other two guys still have their gun on you. Put the fucking guns down before you make Commander Al here very frustrated. I mean, are you still going to keep shooting our friends? If you point the gun at me, I'm gonna shoot you in the fucking head. Put the fucking gun down. I swear to God. Well, I mean, Ava's just gonna come in and give one of them see, a hug. Got energy. <laughs> we were ready to go before you guys get here. So, I mean, we need we need some information, and we can go after whatever's after you guys. I just want to know that you ain't gonna keep shooting people. We're not. We're out of here. Dorothy, can you tell us their this? ship looking? <laughs> their ship busted completely. <laughs> it's kind of fucked up, yeah. Is that too, too just... bad? It's kind of like this? the front end's pretty fucked up because they crashed into the building. And yeah, it does have so, Nimble Jits, you go look at You go deal with the ship first. That's going to be our first course of action. We can get the ship ready, and that gives us an advantage point. Go on the floor with two busted legs. Go I don't know, go talk to Dorothy or some shit. Uh, look, yeah, so mister, I, I think everyone should just put the guns away. We need to figure out who these goo people <laughs> are. Cause I don't know, I don't, I don't know about no goo people, but I don't like goo people I, the, the way they sound. Goo people. Yeah, that sounds really scary. <laughs> Whatever goo people are. I mean, if people are shooting each other over goo people, I don't know how important goo people <laughs> are. But I never met a goo person. I just know that goo that people be wanting because it's illegal and it makes you go crazy. Hmm. So then I was gonna be like, how do we know you're not the goo people? How do I know? I'm not, I know I'm not a goo person. I didn't ask you, Dorothy. I was born on Earth. God damn it, Dorothy. We're not on Earth. I wasn't talking to you either. Go talk to the guy with two broken legs. And they're still kind of, they're like kind of easing up a little bit. <laughs> um, because I like just the idea that I had the guns pointed out, so there's just Al and Dorothy arguing, and they're like, what the <laughs> fuck is going on? Yeah, they were very confused. I mean, if you look at it through like, their point of view, they were doing, like, easy guard duty, maybe cleaning a bathroom, and all of a sudden, people dressed up in Pepsi and, like, <laughs> pieces of empire just started murdering people. And then they flew here, and you started shooting people's legs, saying it's even They're Stevens. Like, we need help. <laughs> this guy's hurt. He's awesome. And Dorothy's yelling at them about goo people. It's been a very <laughs> long day. <laughs> Yeah. Do Dorothy, you know what we need? We were talking about goo people. We need some goo gone. That's what we need, so we can get rid of these there goo go. people. And I have some goo gone. It's called my rifle. So show me where these people are. <laughs> uh, so do you guys understand what they're talking about? No, but Chad, they need listen. help, and it sounds like someone's just shooting uh, ships out the sky. So we need to do something. Uh, you, here. you came to us asking for help to fight these people who are shooting at you. We ain't got nowhere else to go because we're in the same ship as you are. We're stuck down here with you. There's only one way for us to get out, that is to go through the people who are shooting at you. Do you see what I am saying? Yeah, I just want to know why the f who the, who these goo people are, man. I don't give a fuck about no damn goo people. Dorothy, do you know who these goo people are? No? Great. I already told you I don't know who goo people are. I am from Earth. And I never met no goo people in Earth. That's not true. I'm hoping we can find this out together, Dorothy. 
And and you just keep freaking shooting people, and I'm just trying to be a good receptionist, and I fucking don't have enough vacation days for A this good bullshit. receptionist, Dorothy. And as, as she's doing password. that, she's, like, lifting the shit off the guy that you shot that's like, I'm trying to be a goddamn good receptionist, but fucking I don't get paid enough for this. I only get a 30-minute lunch. You know, I heard that Sarah in accounting, she gets at least an hour lunch. What makes Sarah so goddamn important? And that's what she's kind of muttering underneath her breath. So I was going to, like, pull out, like, one of his uh, five credits that he has for he stole from previous encounters and they're like dorothy dorothy mm -hmm. yeah, gave it to dorothy and like clean this mess up five credits i can't even wipe my ass <laughs> with five credits you fucking and she's like you just pissed her off even more i'm gonna take the five credits back <laughs> she's more or less now kind of the assassin with a giant <laughs> Um, they go, well, I think we can get this cart working and maybe, I don't know, maybe we can fly it. Do you have any, like, anything to trade with them? I, they, they seem pretty pissed. I don't want to yes, just fly in there and get shot at. We have my gun. That is a good discussion, a trading piece. I mean, you got one gun, they got a bunch of guns. They took a fucking city, man. Right. I ain't a city. I'm out, Ian. Um... I don't, I, well, I don't care if you're Paul that. Bundy. That, that, I don't know if this is going to work. Have you ever heard of a great warrior called Eric von Utenberg the third? <laughs> yes. I mean, he was in that movie. <laughs> I start looking him up. <laughs> yeah, and you see a uh, guy with long blonde hair IMDb. that looks gorgeous. <laughs> With a sniper yeah. rifle, and he's in several propaganda films. <laughs> My man. <laughs> and he has, he still has like 20, like 30, 40 confirmed kills, like in real life. Yeah, and he's got like <laughs> 34 <laughs> confirmed victories. And like, it's like the American Sniper movie. Yeah. <laughs> Or like, have you seen *Inglorious Bastards*? Yeah. Um, the, yeah, the the yep. German guy. Yeah, it's kind of like that. Like he's in that one movie where he's just like no scoping forty <laughs> people. Yeah. Like, right, if Eric can do it, so can we. Let's go. Uh, I'm, <laughs> dude, that's a fucking movie star, man. I'm just telling you, uh, they took a freaking city, man. So who like, is there? Uh, military? What's the closest like space military that would like normally handle this? Or they they have other I mean, planetary duties uh, than yeah. saving? Dude, have you <laughs> been to the United Planetary Sanctuary? Dude, you can't even order toilet paper without filling out a book full mm. of paperwork. <laughs> hey, Nimbus, you guys have paperwork. that paperwork still? <laughs> I know about paperwork. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, dude, it's, it's uh, such well, a bureaucracy, that. man. Hmm. Yeah. Well, Shit, you know to get this York? uniform, you should have seen the stuff I had to fill out. It was, was all paperwork, like, huh? <laughs> can Al be like... Uh, Al, be you uniform. roll a brains check real quick for me, and let's... Depending on how you roll is what we're going to... Uh... Three. Three. Uh, you remember um, very loosely as your time in the United Planetary Sanctuary um, that people complained about paperwork. Well, yeah. I remember those days. That's the reason I left the damn paperwork. Yeah, man. I just... So I guess it's just up to us. Alright, well, let's do it, then. What's our plan? We take I out think we're going to go see Lucifer. See what his deal is. See what or who he's after. See if we can help him. He's, see if we can calm him down. He's after the goo people, man. Well, if we can get some more information on who they are or what they do, help maybe we can, maybe we can point him in the right the, direction. Yeah, maybe we can um, hunt down the goo people. You guys here in the distance, you hear a lot of engines roaring. Oh, that's our cue to get the fuck okay. out of here. They need yeah, all the help they so. can get. And yeah. you guys see the flag rolling up on you of the King of Mars flags as those carts are coming towards the city. <laughs> I thought we got okay. this son of a bitch. Hmm. He might have made his way back. <laughs> so you don't hear the drums, but you hear like horns like synchronizing. 
Hmm. Hmm. Maybe he's a good person. And they kind of pull up and they like slid and like the sand hits the hits y'all and comes out of it as one of the guys that look like he's from uh he's from the king of mars's crew and he's just like mm -hmm. hey do you guys know what's going on uh, well it's the like... king has informed us that there's a city that's been taken over i don't know how the king kenya he's up in space they're supposed to set another craft and it got shot out of the sky we're so now we're stuck too. here we're teens in space True. Every everything's in space. Did you know that space, in space. is in space? <laughs> Number one way to piss off Courtney. But anyway, yeah. Um, yeah. So, what the fuck do we do? Um, this is the crew from the. You said King of Mars. Somebody yeah. from his tribe. Um. Well, I mean, we were going to go check it out, but we definitely don't have the numbers. Like, how old are you guys looking? What are you guys up to? I mean, we, got, got these five, we got these four <laughs> buggies, man, each piloted by three people. I mean, we got a couple of explosives and stuff. I mean, we were planning on going to just we can work with that. out, but if you have... Uh, Maybe Jake is a technical genius. He can, he can work with a couple of explosives and three <laughs> sacrificial lamps. I mean... And the private comes up and he's just like, I mean, I, I, I know the map of the city. Why couldn't you say that earlier, private? <laughs> you were there. shooting people in the um, leg. <laughs> he's fine. Look over there. And I just point to Dorothy, who's still muttering to herself. Uh, and Dorothy's like, I don't think he's fine. <laughs> um, he's struggling. I mean, if, if we can get a couple of carts and we can bring some supplies... But uh, I do suggest we come up with a plan to either scope things out and lay low and then have a, you know, wolf. You can be our plan B slash C and more if needed. I mean, I don't mind killing some United Planetary Sanctuary, guys. That was kind of fun. That. That's uh, the guys in the cards. <laughs> and he's like, we're not even in the city, man. <laughs> I mean, I'm, fuck it, they all look the same to me. <laughs> yeah, I mean, let's load up. And let's bring... How long would it take to get there with the carts? About an hour or two. Mm. Yeah, what do you say, Al? We can, like, let's do load it. up with these guys, whatever supplies. Let's load need. up, get what we can. Grab anything that you could possibly make as an explosive from wherever the fuck we are. We've got maps, location, so we can start sort of we can, we like can where he's holed up. We can plan an ambush. Yeah. Sweet. We'll start trying to figure that out on our way over. Okay, so um, so they're gonna pile into the craft, yell over the craft with the cadets and with uh, and with one of the uh, guys. Mm -hmm. And he goes, my name is Toki, fucker. <laughs> <laughs> I like that, Toki, fucker. Toki, fuck. <laughs> my name is... Hi, I'm back. <laughs> um, <laughs> yes, you did that. Uh, Toki's my Hello. big ass cat. Hello, Toki, <laughs> fucker. Nice to meet you, but I'm out here. Yeah. I guess his name can be Toki. This is Toki. <laughs> yes, you get to be on camera because you turned off the camera. Because you're okay. a cat. <laughs> <laughs> Look how big he is. He's a pretty big cat. <laughs> Compared to mine, he is. Yeah, fuck. Yeah, so I guess yeah, we'll we call have... him Toki. Fine. Smaller um. <laughs> So, uh, he's like, my name's Toki, and I was second in command. I was supposed to leave off the other ship. Uh, how are we going to attack this city? Um, do we have, like, do we have any intel from the guys who came from that space? Like, hey, here's where it's at, here's where we were, here's where we got attacked. 
I'm imagining it starts from there. Yeah, so here's the map of the city, <laughs> and he kind of like roughly draws it on the paper like this. What kind of pizza is that? <laughs> By now. <laughs> um, nice. <laughs> he's like, so, this is the outline of the city right here. And this is all suburbians. These are about citizens and stuff. Nothing really exciting. When the shooting happened, they all hid in their homes or got rounded up by, uh, rounded up by whatever is trying to kill goo people. So you, hang on, you said this is suburbia out here? Yeah, it's like suburban. And Lucifer is in the middle of suburbia. Um, so if we just, if we end him, we will be the Jesus of suburbia. <laughs> 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 Didn't plan it that way, but sure. Um, so these four little sections are military buildings that lead to the center, the citadel. And this is where, Lu I guess, you said his name was Lucifer? Uh -huh. He's a big chicken hey, guy? to call him Lucy for sure. Whatever he calls it, he's in this citadel right here. Oh. And we're coming up this way right here. You think we could draw him out? Or is he like... He's trying to hand? draw. Can you not see this terrible map? <laughs> <laughs> well, I was wondering if we could distract... Like, if we came up on him and he was like, Oh, I gotta go check this out. Or if it'd be better to try to sneak in on him. I don't know. I mean, we could try... Uh, we could try to drive on in there. Um, but... And then that's where, like, another guy goes... Well, I was on Sewage Depot uh, most of my career. I think we could maybe sneak in underground. We're not sneaking in through the sewers. It's disgusting. <laughs> you don't want to sneak in, in the oh. sewer? No, I'm kidding. Um, no, it sounds... Uh, we could send Dorothy out first. I, I'm not going in that <laughs> sewer by myself. No, I'm totally kidding. I like the idea. It reminded me of, uh, what was that, Brazil, when they have the, um, uh, what are the guys? It's like they basically come and fix the HVAC and stuff, and they have their hilarious uh, yeah. suits and their hats with the long bills. <laughs> or I always saw you in Philadelphia where he tells Dee to take off her clothes and put it over her head when the sewer water hits. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there's like central services or something. <laughs> Um, it's like central services at your service. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it, it really stinks down there, but I don't know if they have the manpower to man it down there. And uh, second in command, uh, yeah, Toby's right. like, we're too proud to sneak around like rats in the sewer. Well, well, like, well, y'all can take the high pride. ground. There's no such thing as pride in war. Well, what if, what if we did both? Um, could we do our, what our comm, do we have comms? I forget. Our comms, would they work above and below ground? I mean, they work in space, but. <laughs> yeah. yeah, we spent two points on them. Okay, yeah, so I'm thinking, you know, we could try to go below ground, like SWAT, SWAT team style, where we go downstairs, we either infiltrate or get in, and then we're like, all right, we're at the position, and then we can move in together. Um, but again, we just don't know what we're, looking at until we get there so but i like the idea of being sneaky and if the other guys aren't going to come down below with us we're gonna split us up i mean we can shoot rockets into the city like we always do well what about the innocents <laughs> like how many uh what are we looking at there as far as <laughs> al just starts laughing <laughs> casualties <laughs> Um, yeah, no I, I wouldn't like you to shoot into the city, uh, Mr. Toki, sir. Uh, I would prefer if you, uh, my tech is over here. Uh, <laughs> you were like waiting on him, yeah. I would, uh, prefer <laughs> if we don't kill innocent civilians. There he goes, there's nothing to say about anybody living in there anymore. Uh, I agree with Toki. Well, I mean, there are people there who are under this guy's rule and they're just getting slaughtered because this guy's Well, mad. then we're doing them a favor. Well, I'd still like to 
save as many as we can, if possible, without just it's the nice bombing and obliterating Do you hear this, Dorothy? <laughs> I mean, I prefer if we don't commit genocide on this mission. <laughs> then I'll, I'll look back at you like, see? <laughs> I was just going to be like, the fuck is genocide? <laughs> It's like what you do with Chad's. <laughs> ah, Chad aside, I got you. <laughs> the Chad Apocalypse, if you will. Right. So we're going down the sewer. Fuck it, let's go. I mean, I'll go first. No one's opposed. Yeah, if you're not opposed. All right, so we're gonna go peel off over here and go into the sewer. Uh, I guess give give our troops a command, and we'll start blasting shit. Sounds good. Ready, break! Go team, go. Break. <laughs> and as you drive closer, Toki's gonna jump off of the raft onto a car, and they're gonna peel off going this way. Fast and Furious style. Yeah. <laughs> um. And then. And then, uh, so yeah, they're gonna peel off this way. And then, uh, he's gonna, and the cadet's gonna drive you to where the sewer entrance is. And it's back over mm -hmm. here. And he's gonna get out, he's gonna pop over the top of the sewer, and he's like, Alright, everybody, get in! Alright. I'll hop in, grab my gear, my scanners, and I'll <clears throat> hop in and follow through the gate. And when you hit the sewer, it is really gross and terrifying. <laughs> yeah, I put like a mask on over my android face so it doesn't seep in. <laughs> and these guys are gonna hop down with you with their pistols drawn. Okay. I was gonna go behind me. Oh, this smells like chats in here. <laughs> <laughs> you like I have a scanner out. I'm just the enemy of some point. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I'm just scanning for like life forms, just sort of basic, like general stuff that would be in front of us. Um, any uh, sort of like uh, ozone type of stuff that would be, I'm sure it's picking up all sorts uh, of methane. Roll and... me a brains check six. Now it's just going to kind of be in the back looking around, being like, I wonder if a hippo could fit in here. <laughs> Dad, um, you are getting a lot of small creatures, but you are getting three human-sized creatures ahead of y'all. What? Um, I'm gonna stop everyone, and I'll whisper that, you know, what What I'm picking up, like, um, you know, used to, like, rodents and stuff, but there's three larger... Are they... Can I tell if they're, like, bipedal or not? Just three larger creatures? Yeah. Um, I'll mention that they're three, like, like us size things, so be ready. Oh! Shoot! Ah! <sighs> Okay, pulls out his gun. Let's go. I forgot yeah, who, to tell wait, the you guy guys. Who... Yeah. Uh, there is uh, there's some stuff down here. Yeah, you did forget to tell us that. <sighs> what are I... we talking stuff? I mean, I heard that there is some genetics that rats didn't evolve really well here in Mars? Oh my god, we're about to fight the Ninja Turtles. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, and it, I heard they're pretty rough. How many people are we, uh, fighting, are we in the sewers with right now? Uh, yeah, four other guys. How many deep? Okay, so fuck four it. guys. I was gonna push people out of the way and be like, listen, I ain't got time for this shit, I'm just gonna charge forwards. Uh, so when you push people <laughs> away, do you turn around and say, like, something to them? Yeah, I'm gonna go through them. And okay, like, so when you turn around and are, and are giving them their fuck it, I'm gonna push forward. Uh, mm -hmm. Rusty, your beeping goes really loud. And, uh, you, uh, well, when you, Al, you, when you see, you see a bunch of distraught faces and heavy breathing on your shoulder. Okay. So I'm just gonna feel um, the breathing and go... You said the scanner was going crazy? Yeah. Cool. Well, I mentioned that. It'd be like, they're, they're like moving with, like, they know that we're moving. Like, we need so to. I want to, like, have my gun. My, my gun's already been drawn. So I'm feeling this heavy breathing on my arm. I'm not even going to look. 
I'm just gonna like slowly sneak my gun up and shoot over my shoulder. Uh, roll me a fight ten because you're doing a no look. <laughs> oh man! Over the shoulder. Fifteen. So no scope, Al. Uh, you shoot <laughs> and you hear a loud yes. screech in your ears what? as it goes, Wah! and it like falls from the top of the sewer behind you, okay. and it uh, and you hear two more screams coming at you really fast. Uh, roll gotcha. me a fight. And I'm hitting hey, the deck. Your boy is doing work. Um, <laughs> let's go. So the first one leaps at you, and you were able, and you were able to move out of the way of that one as it leaps towards you and jumps into the crowd of all the people. And then the third one is crawling on the wall towards Nibble. Gets you see this third one, and then you have one in front of you. Um, do I see what they look like? Uh, they look like, they look like huge mutated rats. Rats, okay. That their skin is very barely pieced together. Ew. Um, match for match. <laughs> I'm looking at my MP3 audio files, ah. uh, but I'm not seeing anything that would, uh, really mess with their day so um i'm basically gonna like pull out a uh it's like a like a wrench that i can extend so it's just like a metal pipe and i'm gonna run over to one and thwack it massive splinter <laughs> uh, let's yeah. do flight to your fight it's not, it's not gonna be pretty Oh, you no. did not whack uh, it. You go to whack it, and it grabs the <laughs> wrench out of your hand, and it goes to whack you with the wrench. <laughs> okay. I was going to get uh, one of those. Dorothy! Only had one of those wrenches. <laughs> uh, roll your flight to his fight. I'll try to take it back. All right. Oh, good. <laughs> All right, so you dodge as this thing tries to swing a wrench at you, um, <laughs> and you kind of get out of the way, and the two guys next to you, they're going to start shooting at this rat thing. Okay. <laughs> Good. Okay, so they were able to shoot it a bunch, and the, the two guys behind you were like, doo -boo, doo -boo, doo -boo, doo and they kind of like shoot the shit out of this guy. Um, awesome. And I'm, I put like the last thwack, like through this dead, like carcass, and just quack. <laughs> I want to yell at Dorothy and be like, "What you doing back there, Dorothy?" And Dorothy is like, "Look out behind you!" And uh, roll me oh, a no. flight, uh, Al. Okay. Oh no. Oh. Mm -mm. <laughs> um. This <laughs> thing. <laughs> this thing goes up and it bites into your shoulder and it's just oh, no. latched onto your shoulder. Now you have a disadvantage in when you use your right arm to shoot. Okay, can I shoot with my left hand and I'm going to shoot through my shoulder onto this thing? <laughs> um... Uh, so my die hard check. Yeah, you will, uh... You will have to go down... You will have to go down a die rank on fight to shoot this thing because it's biting your shoulder. So if you normally roll a d12, you're rolling a d10. Okay. And then mm. it's going to go down because it's latched onto your shoulder. Oh, man, this rat is, like, fucking gay. <laughs> Three. All right, so you are shooting crazily with your left arm, but the pain is so prominent as this thing is <laughs> latching on it, like, kind of scurrying its arms on you, and you're like, Ah! And you're shooting wildly into this thing. Alright, let's see if the you cadets go. can help you. Yeah, and I'm gonna head that way too. Okay. okay, so one of the cadets was able to okay. shoot this thing and not you. He's gotta hop off real quick, but he'll be right back. Okay. 
Who knew that rats would be the end of Al? <laughs> right, yeah. <laughs> uh, one of the cadets was able to shoot this thing off of you, and it, like, takes its teeth off. And it's, like, startled, and it starts scurrying away from you guys. I want to take a shot at it, because that little bass bit my shoulder. <laughs> uh, roll a die strength underneath your normal fight. Okay. I don't know if you're gonna Motherfucker. Ow, in typical mm. owl fashion. Yeah. <laughs> um, misses the shot. So you are now just shooting aimlessly mm. as this thing goes into the night. And, uh, yeah. <laughs> and you start hearing um, a bunch of uh, people up top. Um, oh, man. Start moving around. Like, well, um, so much for sneakiness. And then we like roll yeah, let's just... Dorothy. Yeah, and I'm gonna call. <laughs> I'll say I'm gonna call on the comms and just make sure our guys up top. I'm just be like, we got movement up here, so we had we had a situation down here we had to take care of. So how are you guys looking up there? Uh, yeah, they're move? they're pretty. They're it looks like they're being pretty active. Uh, I'm guessing they heard something down below. Yeah, they. I think. Our cover is blown, so we may need you guys in a, in, a, in a minute. Wait for our word. I just want to make sure you guys are in and position. As you're saying that, you're hearing rocket shells shoot off. <laughs> and and oh then gosh. now the sewer is, like, shaking. Oh, man. Okay. All right, don't well, what did you say? I can't hear you over the rockets! <laughs> <laughs> All right. Looks like we're going to move in now. No, I was yeah. just going to start running yeah, into so. the tunnel. Okay, uh, roll me a Grinch check. Uh, four. Ow. Five. There you go. Okay, so your arm feels really funny, but it is nothing concerning. Um, and also, speaking of, when when you told me about these crazy rats, I definitely want to just take a little sample of one of the dead ones that was next to us. I mean, you can take a sample off of my shoulder. Of you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, maybe. Um, yeah, so I just want to, uh, I don't know, I guess I'd like get some DNA or something and then grab some fur uh, from them and then just put that in my little sample kit pouch, um, especially if it bit someone. Uh, it bit you? It was like, hold on to your shoulder, <laughs> yeah. it bit you or scratched you? It bit you, yeah. Yeah, we need to find out what that is. We may, yeah, we might need the this. Fuck out of him. <laughs> yeah, that's not good. It's like when you kill it, when you when a snake bites you. It's like, oh, you got to get the snake and figure out what kind it is. Yeah, yeah we're gonna put the brown in the belly and see if it's poisonous. Or not. <laughs> so yeah, so you guys are running down the sewer. The cadets like, turn left, turn. Like, tell, give me oh, they're telling us where to go. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. And yeah, these, so and again, them. it's just the the whole sewer is just shaking as you're hearing rockets oh, shooting. Yeah, um, we need to get the fuck out of here before it collapses. Mm -hmm. Go up! You hear at the last <laughs> minute. It's like, oh, thanks, Garmin. And uh, you turn, make a left in two hundred <laughs> yards. And you see a ladder that's dropped down. Hmm. You see a ladder when he tells you to go up. Go okay. up. Yeah. Be cautious. Ready. Yeah. Uh, roll me a grinch <laughs> check for uh, Wolf. Yeah. Eight. Okay. Your arm still feels kind of funny, but you're just... Your adrenaline's pumping. Yeah. Then I, I will do. Uh, <laughs> and then... Uh, so you're climbing up? Yep. And yeah, as if you climb up, you get to like a manhole covering. Push that son of a bitch open. And as you push it open, you see in front of you a dead United Planetary Sanctuary guy staring at you. Kind of like... <laughs> I'm gonna reach up and throw him down into the sewer. What the fuck, man? We're down here. You almost knocked me off the ladder. <laughs> but he was in the way. And well, and Al, you see like a completely destroyed 
uh, what looks, remember that building that you, when you landed in, it was like really nice and there was, yeah, all of that is like in ruins and there's just dead people all over the place. Damn. Fucking and the building is shaking as a rocket just hits the side. <laughs> look, look down at Nimble and be like, oh, well, <laughs> we have our work cut out. Yeah, we gotta find this guy quick. Or, or this is just gonna keep happening. This is gonna continue. We gotta hurry up and find him. So. See how I get now? Yep. Yeah. Uh, you guys see two fish like <clears throat> people in uh, Bezos uniforms that are all ripped up and tattered. And they're screaming, they got some guys shooting rockets off the top. We got to get over there. Um, I'll radio over to my to our guys and be like, uh, heads up. They spotted you uh, possible incoming <laughs> so, so they can take cover if they need to. Yeah, one of the fish guys people. sees you and goes, who the fuck are you guys? I want to shoot right away. Boom. And I was, I was gonna turn. Yeah, All right, roll me a fight check. The, eight. And I'm gonna turn to the guys who were on our team shooting at us and be like, "Get them!" <laughs> I use three adversity tokens. Boom, eight. Okay. Um. Nice. So when that guy turns and goes, "Who the fuck are you guys?" You basically shoot him right in the chest, and he drops off his feet. He's like, "Oh!" And the other yeah, guy like nice. pulls out his gun, and let's see if the cadets can shoot somebody. Ooh, no, they, they don't, they barely even combine <laughs> shoot him. Uh, you see all the blasters from behind you, like, hitting all over the place? Um, and he's gonna take a shot okay, at, uh, Storm you. Trooper Cadets. <laughs> yeah, he's gonna take a shot at you, Al. Um, roll your flight to his fight. Okay. Oh, fuck. 15. Uh, he rolled a 23. Oh. How? Yeah, how? Because he rolled a I see. 12. Oh, I mean, right. sorry, 20. Yeah, 23. He rolled a 12, and then that exploded to an 11. No. Oh. So, Al, he hits you, and you get dropped off your feet. In the shoulder, right? <laughs> yeah, I, I mean, it's, like, shoulder. close. But you were able to, like, morph your, like, vital organs away. But it hits <laughs> you right in the chest as you drop. And, uh, Nibble gets, what are you doing? When I see him fall, I'm just like, ow! <laughs> like, holy shit. Um, the... Motherfucker! <laughs> hmm. I know, my, 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 my minions are rolling so well. They really are. And then watch, Lucifer's um... just gonna die by one bullet. <laughs> That's how the boss battle was um, I'm just gonna run towards the guy that just shot Al. Cause I think, I mean, I know it, it looked really bad. So I'm just running at him and I'm going to like do a tackle, like a wrap around tackle. If I can get to him. <laughs> uh, roll <laughs> your bronze to his fight flight. Okay. And I'm hoping that the momentum. It's eh. a tie. Yep. If I need to, if I need to make it more, can I just, I could just like throw tokens at it to like yeah. try to, um, I mean, I do want this. This matters, so I'm gonna throw a bunch of tokens at it. Uh, I guess I'll throw three at it. That's all of them. Okay, so you are running, and your jet boosters nine, yeah. go, and you like. Uh, uh, Wolf is gonna get this. You like spear him like edge, and <laughs> <laughs> and you knock him so hard that his head busts open on the con on like the concrete below. And because does he do, does, oh, he, does he do the edge pin? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and you go through it. You kind of like and his gun flies up in the air, and the cadets are like, "Whoa!" I just want to call. And I'm looking at him, and he, yeah, I'm like, oh my gosh, like, like he's dead. <laughs> like he's just, like I'm checking him. I'm, I'm just can't believe that you did that. Sort of didn't know my own strength. Yeah. <laughs> uh. Yeah, and he's just sort of looking at this guy like, oh, oh my gosh, like. But then he, yeah, he just sort of like lets him down and sort of stands up. And uh, you uh, see uh, yeah. kind of a guy with an eye patch, and he's I another bird-like person, and he's just like. That YouTube clip there is going to be <laughs> my response. <laughs> I was like looking up, and he's just going to go. 
<laughs> and uh yeah this guy's like uh, uh. and he starts <laughs> kind of running up the stairs and the answer like we have to stop him yeah and i'm like looking for al like get up and i'm like al al where are you uh al you were having a really hard time getting up uh, uh well, you have okay. two holes in you right now <laughs> I'll go look yeah. and we'll be like, run over I've, got and... three, I've got three holes right now and two of them aren't supposed to be there. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and the cadets are going to try to chase after them as, they, as they're like running up the stairs. Um, okay, yeah, I'll, I'll radio. I was like, I got to help uh, Al. You guys try to, uh, we'll catch up. Like, you guys try to make some headway and we'll catch up. And Dorothy goes, uh, um, yeah. um, I guess new boss, guys. Yeah, Dor. Uh, New what? I, think, <laughs> yeah. I think your cadets are screwed. Uh, so am I, Dorothy. <laughs> yeah, but uh, they now just threw down their guns and they have their hands up and they're walking down the stairs. Oh, what the f***? I was going like, to try and sit up and mother f***. And yeah, uh, up. you guys see, as your scanner is now going crazy, uh, mm -hmm. <laughs> Rusty, and you see a bunch of... Uh, uh, guys in like different clothing, like some with uh, Pepsi logos on them, and they have guns, and they're kind of like leading your cadets down, or like has their hands on their heads. And then uh, you see two or three more uh, Pepsi T-shirt guys kind of going out of the wooden works with their guns pointed up at you guys. So the, the guys from the King of Mars team is still good, right? Yeah, they're still firing into the city, so this so this mm. building is like shaking every so often. <laughs> yeah, as I say, like I feel like um, we would definitely radio to them as soon as like we were about to get, we think we're about to get captured or something. We'd radio to them and say, uh, "This might be the end of the road for us." Uh, and so he, and he goes, you got "Fine, it. we'll blow up the entire city. Long live you guys!" <laughs> and woo! And you hear like more fire <laughs> fireworks. I just look at Al. <laughs> like, oh god. I'm just gonna look and be like, fuck it. Let's what the out. hell is that? And you hear bop, 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 bop. And uh, you hear explosions and then a oh, rocket and stuff. Out. Yeah. We shouldn't have uh, ran them off so far away. I mean, they're kind of cool. Could keep them around. Uh, and uh, you see Lucifer, the chicken man, who has burnt marks all over his face. And he comes down in his full uniform attire. And he's like, oh, I see you came the expressway to come see me. How are you doing, boys? Yo. Yeah. Yeah, I'll say uh, Lucifer. I was, was um, going to look at him. I mean, uh, it's ironic your name is Lucifer when I seem to be a holy man right now. <laughs> I know, you're not looking too good, partner, but you'll look even worse until you give me my goo. Oh, let me let this cat out real quick. <laughs> cool. be like goo like what are you talking about this is all over goo <laughs> that's what i'm trying to shoot <laughs> surprise so where is my goo when you say your goo you mean the goo that you uh... gave uh jingles and he took that goo the one that jingles took away from us after shooting rose that goo you are in charge of delivering it to Mercury. We gave it to Mercury. It's in Mercury yeah, right now. But we that's didn't where it's at. It. It's in Mercury's our hands right is... now. Well, no, that's Mercury's a planet, Lucifer. Right? Unless that's the person's name. Is the person called Mercury? No, you're supposed to deliver it to a person on Mercury. 
Well, you said it's in Mercury's hand, so I assumed Mercury was the person. Uh, Excuse he me. He starts shooting close to you guys. <laughs> now that's just. Whoa, 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 whoa. Ava, hug him now. Like, watch the leg. Watch the leg. I'm like hopping on one leg. Um, who was it supposed to be delivered to? Did we did we have that information or? Uh, you no. had the coordinates. Jingles is supposed to do it. The Where the fuck is Jingles? Jingles is gone. But he's right here. Then we'll just show him the GPS. Yeah, and I'll, I'll pull it up and I'll show the uh, coordinates with uh, that are on Mercury that I guess probably have like a little marker that says like find my friend Jingles and it's uh... a. <laughs> he's like find. It's got a little. Phone, yes. Uh, he kind of points to uh, help him. He kind of points to. Uh... He points to a guy and the guy runs over and like grabs the cob and is like. Yeah, it says that whoever the track is is going to Mercury, boss. Dorothy, you sound different. And I'll, I'll, I'm just gonna. That wasn't me. I, I, I'm over here. I don't know why you. I'm getting <laughs> shot at. Or why I was even brought on this mission. I'm just a receptionist. You're out now, Dorothy. She's taking meeting notes, meeting minutes for us. You're getting paid overtime, Dorothy. Don't worry about it. Yeah, she's like met with Lucifer. Um, yeah, so I'm trying to explain the situation that like everything that he's asking for has sort of happened, but without our uh, roll a charm check. And since you have the help of on the crew, I'm gonna make it a lot easier. Uh, give me a six on charm. Uh, it's still tough when you're rolling a six, guys. Can <laughs> I try to charm him? I'd be like, everything he's saying is true, man. You just gotta. It is. I'm not you lying. Know? I'm just not very charming. You just gotta believe. I'm very factual. It's very. You here just have to believe. Here's, where it's at. Here's what's that happening. That wasn't me. If I had done our part of the deal. Uh, do you want to do a charm <laughs> check, uh, Al? Yeah, I'm down. Um, so when you say that, he's just like, <laughs> I don't need any science talk from you. I have a buyer. You were supposed to supply the buyer, and you didn't. But we did, but we had to use a detour person to deliver it. You see, UPS doesn't just stand for United Planetary Services. It also stands for United States Postal Service. <laughs> <laughs> we had to FedEx it with jingles. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, so uh, roll me a charm check is... six. And I would just ask Lucifer what his... Uh relationship with Jingles was in the first place. Like, had they done, uh, had they I mean, dealt with Jingles each other? Jingles was some soldier. He was a fine soldier. And uh, are you using a uh, token? Yes, I am. Six. Okay, so he kind of laughs and he's just like, <laughs> and you here asking too about Jingles. Jingles was a fine soldier of mine. Looked like he was aging kind of funny, but I, I don't know much about human biology. Aging anyway. what? What? Okay. Aging strangely? I mean, yeah. you said you're not very much into science, but that sounds... Yeah, he looked a lot old. He, my, maybe yours, Alec. He was young when he came by us, and he was looking kind of older every... Like, looking really old. Um, would he have any Sorry. reason... What would, he, what would his motive be to... For having this goo? Obviously, it costs a lot of money, but is that it? It's just worth a lot of money? Are you asking why Jingles might want it? Fuck, it's worth a shit ton of money. It's hard to get. It's super illegal. But he knew he would have to deal with you, so it must be worth it for him at some point, right? I mean, if you were able to bring that home and make that much money off of it, shit, you might not have to work a day in your life if you know how to spend your money. Right. So how are we gonna get this goo? To Mercury! Yeah, I mean, our understanding is that it's on Mercury. Um, we definitely need to get there quick. We don't quite have the support, as you can see, since it has uh, come from our ship and <coughs> from a member so of someone who was on our a, ship. <laughs> I want to use uh, Al's little charm here. Be like, Lucy, Lucy, baby, can I call you Lucy? Okay, what's up, Lucy? Lucy, listen. <laughs> The goo's supposed to be on Mercury, okay? It's on Mercury. The buyer clearly has a lot of money, so he's 
definitely gonna get this goop. But he is gonna want to work with us to make sure that he gets his goods, right, Lucy? You know what I'm saying, Lucy. Here's the thing. We find jingles. We kill the jingles. And we're good, Lucy. We're good, baby. Roll me a charm check. Eight. <laughs> Wow. And he kind of like wipes his, like kind of wipes his beak with his feathers. I love you said beak. And he like <laughs> walks kind of down. He walks kind of down the stairs a little bit. So you're telling me we have to find this Jingles, because he has our goo, and you have the tracker to Jingles. This is correct. That's, that's right. But we need the help, because we only have the four of us. And Dorothy here... <sighs> Dorothy is upset about her pay, so she might not be so helpful. But still, I just want to go back to Dr. Doof. I don't know why you have me here. <laughs> Damn it, Dorothy, you're ours now. Dr. Doof gave us his permission. Dr. Doof ain't got my permission. Down. He's like, shut up, both of you. Yeah, Dorothy. <laughs> no, you. And you hear a beeping. Beep, 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 beep. I'm checking on my scanners. I pull out a drawer. I pull out a drawer over here. I'm like looking for the beeping. I'm like checking on my pockets. And uh, <laughs> a guy hands, uh, a, one of his guards hands him like a phone almost. And he clicks mm -hmm. it, and then a hologram comes up, and you see a uh, a very uh, large humanoid that's floating on, that is on, essentially, he's got his feet dangling, and he's, like, floating on this, like, kind of, like, thing that's holding him up. This raft, it's like a hand that's holding him, and it's, like, floating up and down. It's a very large humanoid with a brown hair, and he's like, Lucifer! Have you delivered... Have you close to delivering the goods now? You were supposed to deliver them weeks ago. Uh, you want to roll me a brains check? Let's see. Brains check 15 to see if you know who this is right off the back. Yeah, and also, I'm going to start recording. <laughs> Just because I'm like, who is this guy? This Lame is a cool finger. conversation. <laughs> Oh, that was so close to an 18. Wow. <clears throat> we have no I'm idea. Like, who this just guy is. listening? Yeah, I have no idea. Um, Al, you've heard that voice before. Hmm. But you can't place you where you've heard it. And. Nibble gets. This just looks like a really overweight human. <laughs> you are so yeah. in love with his hover device as a hand. <laughs> yeah, it's really neat. And, uh, uh, he goes, Lucifer, where is the goo that you promised me? And Lucifer instantly comes from, like, being this badass military general, is, like, now, like, uh, sir, I, I mean, I'm, 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 I'm in the middle of trying to get it for you. I, I'm, I'm, so bad. I'm sorry. As, as he's, like, stuttering through that, I'm just gonna... Kind of to the side, I'm gonna pop up and show like show him that we have the tablet with the coordinates and it's like basically basically to help him feel more confident that we have what we need to go for. Just so he kind of maybe straightens up a little bit. I'll be like, it's all right here. Like, is he distracted it. enough for me just to shoot Lucifer in the head and kill him? Not that distracted. <laughs> there are other people pointing guns at you guys. <laughs> well in that yeah, case. So I'll come then... over and on the tablet like here you go it's all good yeah we'll do the uh, uh we'll do the, garden the guy the on the tablet kind of turns and is like who are these guys a pugmoranian who's shot it looks like and i'm a, a pugmoranian i'm out <laughs> secret asian man <laughs> yeah trying to like move out of view i'm trying to like scooch over i'm like what do you have and i'm just here waving like hi what do you have in your hand that you're trying to show Lucifer? You can show me. I'm a reasonable man. 
Um, and I'll look at Lucifer to see if he gives me the okay to like talk to this guy. Uh, Lucifer this guy is. is very is dumbfounded like, that this man has called okay. him. Yeah, Go um, ahead. I'll just be very, very matter of fact, and I'll say uh, we have the coordinates um, from you know where the goo should be, uh, and we are making plans now to retrieve it uh, so that we can get back to our normal day to day lives without being anyone being hurt any further. Uh, he kind of turns to Lucifer and he's just like, retrieve it. That sounds like you lost it, Lucifer. And Lucifer's like, I, I, I didn't lose it. I hired, I hired these guys to deliver it to you. They lost it. That's why we're we're showing them. That's why we, we came to Mars to get our goo back so we could give it to you. Lucifer. And I'll, I'll, I'll Lucifer. jump back in and say, you know, the... The goo was, uh, yeah, stolen, stolen from us while it was um, under our, uh, whatever you call that, <laughs> it was under our, our, uh, you know, uh, so yeah, we're, we're retrieving it for you, um, yeah, and we're trying to find the guy who did this, because uh, we have some questions for him as well. Um, he has part of our ship. So, who <laughs> was this man who stole it from you? I was going to be on the ground. I'm going to slowly now get my way up and be like, ah, Lucy's friend Jingles. <laughs> and just look at him and be like, Oh! And he kind of laughs. laughs. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Jingles from the 504. <laughs> <laughs> I remember that unit. What a nifty experiment. <laughs> and he kind of turns to Lucifer and he goes, Lucifer, you were supposed to baby watch him. You can't deliver and you can't babysit. <laughs> what are you good for besides committing war crimes? Uh, I asked him the same thing. He's Mr. good at Blood. that. Uh, he is good dude, at that. Uh, boss, look. I just want to let you know that I have everything under control. I'm going to get these guys, I'm going to get this goo, and everything will be fine, okay? Lucifer. I'm gonna, can I look at Lucifer and just slap him and be like, you can't control me? No, you're on the ground bleeding. <laughs> I got up. <laughs> I got uh, roll me a grits check. Uh, eight. <laughs> I didn't get up. Yeah, you <laughs> fall back to the floor, and now your arm is in horrible pain, and you notice that it is starting to not look right, as it looks green and the tad infected. Mm. Ah, great. I was hoping it would take a lot longer than that. All right, you're uh, the one. <laughs> uh, <laughs> and it, uh, the guy goes, okay, Lucifer. Do you have a plan? And this friend goes, well, I mean, I, mean, I kind of have a plan. I mean, we're going to get these guys, and then we're going to, you know, uh, uh, you know, they're working for you now. Uh, you know, they're going to work for you now, and we're going to get these guys, we're going to get jingles, and we'll bring all of them, and then we'll all make money, we'll all be rich, it'll be beautiful. Right, guys? And he looks towards you guys. I'm kind of like, what? <laughs> I'm just like shrugging, like, what, what did you just sign us up for? Um, and then right as that happens, uh, one guy comes <clears> over <throat> to each of you, a different guy, and he goes to inject you in the neck with something. Do I have time to swat uh, away? Roll me a flight, <laughs> uh, a flight six for you, Rusty, and a flight ten for you, Wolf, because you're on the ground dying. Uh, yeah. Indeed, I am. Alright, so you were able to avoid this, uh, but. Um, but, uh, Al, you were injected by it. Um, when it happens, I want to look at it and ask them what they're doing. Uh, he goes. Uh, he goes. Um,. He injects it and then and then the guy like goes to inject you again and Lucifer goes, 
Please, guys, just do this for me. Uh, I would like to know what it was, what it is before consent. <laughs> oh, it is just an insurance policy because Lucifer lets you guys run around a little too wild, and I want to make sure that you get to me now. Oh, this is from Lucifer. Okay. No, this um, is from the guy in the in the chair. Oh, the his guy. I was gonna yeah. be like, would it make my arm feel better? Because this shit hurts. Hey, it will like make you, you feel totally better if you don't. It will hurt really bad, and then you'll just feel whatever it feels going next. I'm just Are you in. really like, you curious? Can track our ship. And he kind of like, and the, and the like hologram kind of leans towards you. Nimble gets. He goes, "Are you really curious about what this is?" <laughs> I mean, I'm yeah. Curious about a lot of things. And then uh, he kind of like flicks his fingers, and you can see everyone in the room is now starting to panic. Um, and a uh, and a beautiful woman comes over and hands him like essentially a board full of buttons, and he mm -hmm. goes, "This is what it is." And he clicks on it, and all of a sudden, Lucifer's head explodes. Oh my gosh! Oh wow! <laughs> Oh. I was gonna look and be uh, like, Lucy? "Yeah, that's in you now." <laughs> like, so here's here's a question: Is it gonna make my arm feel better now? Because this explosion of the head and everything, it got my headache to go away with Lucy. But I mean, <laughs> yeah, can I just give you my ID? Like, leave you my ID or like a you know, my credit <laughs> card or something? I was then... gonna be sarcastic. And be like, Do you have the correct paperwork for this? And as as his head explodes, he drops the hologram and it hits the ground and it's sitting on the step. And he goes, "Pick me up." I'll reach I down can't and pick myself scoop it up. up. <laughs> and I'm like looking around it, you know. Do you not know who I am? I don't. Uh, I, I ran, I know you know, voice you recognition are. and couldn't couldn't come up with anything. Um, but you're obviously a very powerful uh, creature. I'm gonna. I am. Um, as I was on the floor in pain, you know, with an injection and two holes in his arm, and we we're like, <sighs> I have a feeling you're a prime member of this world. I am one of the big ones, yes. Um, uh -huh. But I need you to come visit me on Mercury. So gather your ship, gather the crew you have. And you're coming to Mercury, and we will find this Jingles, you and I. Okay, so listen, before we find Jingles, so uh, can we can we fix this? Because this shit is going to make it difficult for me to catch him. And I know you got the money, Bezos. <laughs> I'm not Bezos. Okay, Bill. <laughs> I'm not Bill. <laughs> Chad? Alright, if you're gonna keep shouting out names, I might just blow you up right now. <laughs> what does that do good for you? Cool. Look. Right. <laughs> you will come and see me on Mercury. You will help me find Mr. Jingles. You will help me get the school. If not, I will blow up your friend app. No, we are... Um... I'm just gonna look at my arm and be like... We are willing to comply. Uh, I don't, you know, think that the uh, explosive uh, charges, uh, tracking charge is necessary. Um, I prefer not to have one in me because it could really ruin my suit if it were to go off accidentally or if something, you know, clanked around Fine. wrong. Put um, it all over their ship. <laughs> and they go like, yes, sir. And I go like, run up. All right. That's good because now Nimble just can get a sample. Mm, yeah. <laughs> Uh, and then he turns right. and he goes, so you're going to go to these coordinates. Mm -hmm. You are going to go to the landing pad and you will tell them that you're here to see this person. And, and what's that person? The little, holo the, little, the little thing starts to print out, an air, print out a sheet, kind of like, <laughs> kind of like this little like telegram thing. <laughs> and you will see me no later than one week. And it sucks into the screen. 
What does the name say? Do you read it? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm on the ground. I mean, I have no arm here. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I mean, I, I'm, I, I'm all about information, so if I'm like, if I know this name, if we can get any more intel, or this place, or whatever, I'm always uh, gonna... You see that it is a very weird business card, and it says, um, it has a man who looks like a skinnier version of the guy you saw holding a flamethrower, and it says, uh, Elon Musk Tesla Incorporated. <laughs> Nice. Elon, I didn't think about Elon, son of a bitch. <laughs> yeah. I was going, I was thinking that and I was I, thinking Amazon still, but I was I was thinking yeah, Bezos and I was like, okay, That's great. Bill Gates maybe. I wasn't thinking of Elon. <laughs> <laughs> and I actually have someone to play Elon Musk, so it's going to be oh, great. Oh, nice. Awesome. Um, and that is the cliffhanger we'll leave it. It'll be a little bit of a shorter mission because it's just the two of us, and that's a really good cliffhanger to leave us on. Yeah, no, that's great. Um, no, I get it, yeah, for sure. Oh man, I'm we so glad we lived. Us. I didn't think well, we were gonna live. Kind of. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. So we're gonna have to get you patched up so that you don't get exploded soon either. <laughs> Bezos well, the good thing is, is I feel like this is really this is really bad to have you. Like I feel, I feel like, like my, if it were I mean, any of us, it'd be fine. But for you, this is gonna be really hard for you to not <laughs> make that thing go off. <laughs> month has just ended up in critical condition. Yeah, I mean, this was, uh, yeah, Cloud, this is definitely a, like, we're gonna, I'm gonna push the story along, because I don't have a cast. <laughs> I mean, I think we did good. Yeah, no, uh, it, it, All things considered. I was gonna have y'all do a little bit more sneaking, but then fucking Wolf got fucked up, <laughs> so I was Yes, stuck. I did. Yeah. Well, you could have, like, you could have hailed me somehow. <laughs> Give we'll me that. That. No, that's great. that was funny, we got, yeah. <laughs> We'll get to that at some point in the healing process. Well, you do have bath the tanks, so. And then we have a week, so I can be healed in the tank. Yeah. So, uh. I mean, I might be in there too. We're all gonna be. Half <laughs> <Have> Ava. <laughs> take it, take it turn. Ava's just there chilling. So, Ava what do you think about is. Elon Musk as the background dealing? Man, that's Yeah, that's great. I, I didn't like I mean, it. When you said a fat human, I was like, okay, I kind of see where this is going, but I'm not entirely sure. Yeah, and now that you say flamethrower, I'm like, ah, oh, okay. <laughs> I didn't even get it after you said Elon Musk. You said flamethrower, and I was like, thinking, I was like, hmm, Ozzy Oswald? <laughs> well, so the, the flamethrower was because there were, Elon Musk posted a video, and he was like so pumped. He's like, oh, I yeah. bought a like flamethrower! And he just kept like <laughs> shooting it, and everyone's just like, uh -huh. shut the fuck up, Elon Musk. <laughs> uh, well, he like makes jokes out of all his like, all these names and stuff. Like, what was the big fucking rocket or whatever, the BFR or whatever. That he's like, just names silly things. And, like, what's the well, name of his company? The... Like, nothing company or something? I don't know. His, ca his cars are literally spell out the word sex. You have the Model S, the Model E, and the Model X. Right, yes. So so interesting that it's it's like this childish behavior, but it's like he's he can get away with it, so, he can do whatever. Uh, a guy I watch, uh, his name is the Spiffing Brit, and he has a bot that is programmed to uh, he has a bot that is programmed to just buy stock when Elon Musk texts tweets it, and then immediately <sighs> yeah. sell it after an hour. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. so That's, the it bot gets really like a hundred dollars and it buys whatever yeah. stock Elon Musk tweets about. So if Elon Musk That's is like, oh, I love orange juice, it buys orange juice stock for ten hours and then sells. That's pretty good. Yeah. I'd be curious how well it does. Uh, I think he did a video on it, but yeah, he will be. But uh, it is pretty fishy though that he is on Mercury and not in the Bezos Empire. Yeah, and I was curious, like, how much they thought Jingles could go off the rail. Because I'm like, you know, it's like they gave it to him and he ran off with it. So, like, they have to know that he was able to do that or something. Yeah. So they have to be able to. So I like that they're like, oh, Jingles. I was trying to yeah, keep like, it in. I was trying to him. keep the story in a way that, like, like, obviously I would do a lot more with Al, but obviously I got injured. But <laughs> my thought process was like, okay, Avery's probably going to come in next week. So mm. we want to try. I was trying to keep Lucifer alive, but you blew his head off. 
<laughs> no, I was like, oh, maybe well, Avery and Lucifer would get into something, and then we'd have to shoot one or some shit like that. But no, Lucifer's yeah. dead. So that's that. Well, it was gonna be a big siege fight. Was my first thing that y'all were gonna like siege the city, and like Avery mm -hmm. was gonna come in with his people, being like, I need these buildings to be intact. Cause this is how I get to do my business. And mm -hmm. having a bunch of pirates controlling, uh, <laughs> you know, an outpost is not good. But then he, um, uh, then yeah, see you later, bed. And then, but then he couldn't make it, so I was like, oh well, we'll we'll let them figure out how, like, well, yeah. And we did. You killed him. Yeah, I mean, Lucifer is. <laughs> Wait, now they mentioned gone. that in chat, and I was like, well, I don't know. His name's Lucifer. <laughs> mm -hmm. Well, I mean. Yeah, I mean Elon Musk is. I mean, you gotta admit Elon Musk is pretty pissed because he's like, Lucifer, send me this goo, and then Lucifer gave it to yeah. you, and then it never showed up, and then you were like, yeah. well, Lucifer's guy stole it from us, so it's like, <laughs> it's like Lucifer. <laughs> yeah, I didn't mean to like throw him under the bus, but I was totally trying to like get us out of the situation i was like no here's all the information here's where we're going here's what's gonna happen and then he's like all right oh it's your fault so, like, yeah no. so if you can see it from I'm his cool point of view that's like millions billions of dollars that are gone yeah. yeah that lucifer was supposed to bring it to himself but he didn't have a ship <laughs> yeah we kind of screwed him, screwed him yeah you kind of threw one of the bus and yeah. I mean, Elon Musk doesn't give a fuck about a genocidal asshole, so right. he's like, mm, whatever. Yeah. <laughs> Better him than you, yeah. But now Al <laughs> has the chip inside him. Yep. Yeah, we're going to have to watch ourselves. Yep, you might have to play nice. <laughs> can, can you play nice, Al? Is that, like, something you I can do? I guess we'll find out. <laughs> or better yet, can you come back from an explosion? <laughs> <laughs> like the Deadpool way? <laughs> yeah, I'm more of my like if your body clinic. splits into like yeah. big enough chunks, they can reform. <laughs> I guess I'd have to roll a grit check on that. <laughs> <laughs> definitely, definitely have to roll a grit check. But uh, we're gonna send it over to inappropriate. Oh wait, hold on. We're gonna send it over to inappropriate uh, characters. So thank you guys so much for watching. I know this was kind of a lackluster one, but with uh, Father's Day and um. Everything. everything. Everything was against going. us. Yeah, everything was and against last, us. And it not was last week we had to cancel. This week everything was against us. So we was a makeshift crew. Irony. But this is going to be our Sunday new spot at 7 to make sure that we can get everybody here and playing. And next week we will hopefully either meet Elon Musk Woo! or something bad will happen. <laughs> <laughs> or both. <laughs> Depending on the guy who's playing Elon Musk. <laughs> <laughs> so I'll see you guys awesome. later. And don't forget to always tip your bartender. And check out Go For Games. Go For Games. Peace. Yeah.